first off, the recent news coming from mid-June with you reclassing to 2021, now going to the Skill Factory. What went into that decision and what was that process like for you? Basically, all these college coaches, uh, they offered me for 2021 because they wanted to see me uh, get stronger and faster and uh, my um and yeah and, and get better for 2021. And um, because they see me and they say I'm a late bloomer, so they want me to reclass and get better. Well, I know heading to the Skill Factory, you're going to a place where Kai Soto is just leaving. He is a big time NBA prospect from the Philippines. And I understand that you have a relationship with him and you know him well. Yes, Kai is like my brother. Kai was going to work more with me, work more with me this season, but uh, he didn't get paperwork done in time. But me and Kai have been working out with each other, um, like going out to eat and stuff. But yeah, me and Kai have a great relationship. And what's it like working out with him? I'm sure you two can really push each other. Oh, uh, yeah. I was. <laughs> Sometimes me and him go back and forth. Uh, I, I can learn a lot from him since he's going to the NBA and stuff like that. And, yeah, he, he kind of teaches me a lot. Do you have any favorite memories or funny stories from your time playing and being around Kai? Uh, well, yeah. Kai was actually enrolled at Barkmore, and uh, I was walking in the hall with him. And and everybody in the school was like, who is that? Because <laughs> Kai had to duck <laughs> under the hallways and stuff like that. So that's like the funniest. I'm curious about you on the court. How do you see yourself and what do you see as your biggest strength? My motor, I think I'm the best player defensively on the court every night. I want to guard the best player all night, every day. And now because of the skills that you've been able to develop and the attention that you've gotten playing on the high school level, you're getting recruited by some high Division One schools and SEC teams. Where are you now in the recruiting process? Um, I'm still open to all schools, uh, but uh, Georgia, Ole Miss, Texas Southern, Iona, App State, SC State, and some other schools have all offered me. But uh, I'm looking to take some virtual visits soon and get some more offers. Yeah, how do the virtual visits work? I know in quarantine you can't travel like you maybe normally would, so how do you handle that? Um, I just took a, a virtual visit with Ole Miss, and they basically just show you the campus, talk about what they've seen you, how you can fit in, and um, what they did this past season, and academics and stuff like that. That's basically all it is. How do college coaches see you fitting in on their team? Um, They said I'm versatile. I can guard one to five. And um, I can rebound on the floor. So basically, when we come in, rebound, and guard the best player, and work hard. Definitely. Now, I'm still curious about the virtual visit. Do they have their phone in their hand when they're walking around campus showing you stuff, oh, or is it? No. Um... Basically, it's like a Zoom call, and my mom, my dad, my AU coach, and all the other coaches and assistants are on it, and they just uh, show you everything, basically. Okay. And what advice have you been getting from your coaches in terms of what to look for in a school? Um, somewhere where you're not uh, wanted, but you're needed at. And um, the um, coaching style, because uh, I play a different type of basketball, so like, I need a coach who, who, who knows me and uh, where I can fit in that. When you say you play a different style of basketball, what do you mean by that? Um, defense, that's all I know. Uh, I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a, I'm a come at you all day, every day, and uh, I'm basically annoying on the court. And where did you learn that? How did you go about developing those defensive skills? Um, I don't know, just something that was in me because I have a brother at uh, Florida State, he plays football. I got a sister at Ohio State, she ran track. So basically, them just bullying me, making me want to go harder. It is in me now. I've seen you getting some clout on social media lately. I know Slam High School recently posted one of your dunks that got over 162,000 views on Instagram last I checked. I've seen you as an underrated player, I think, for the past year in Georgia. So I think it's about time for you to get this type of attention. So what's that been like for you? Um, it's been cool because um, I'm from Savannah, Savannah, Georgia. And now, like, all the people out there, they're posting me, um, asking for advice and stuff, how to get exposure. So I'm just telling them to keep working hard. And one day a time will come, because I waited my turn.